Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Thanks John Holden for this one. This is Animating Shapes with Masks. All right, as I said, uh, John is the one in a conversation with him about this project that I did. He, uh, sometimes I take for granted some of the stuff that I do and he asked about how I did some of this and it would make a good tutorial. So that's what we're gonna look at right now. Um, the idea is this, is that I'm using masks in Premiere Pro. By the way, if you don't see masks, if you don't see the free draw Bezier mask in Premiere Pro, time to upgrade because it's only in uh, Creative Cloud. And um, creating masks, most people will think that you use a mask to hide or reveal something. Well, if you do it to a color mat, then you can do it to shapes. If you add a mask to one of these shapes and the shape is a mask, then you're animating a shape with a mask. Let's go have a look. So first, let's just get clear what these shapes are. So notice in this area, I'm trying to highlight this little area in here. And at this point, there's a crosshatched area and then there's also this blue area. So if I double click on one of these, so double click on the blue area, it's a blue color mat. Where do you get those? Down in here, click the new item, color mat. I make it the size of my project, so HD, or you can go up to 6K, 4K, whatever, um, and click OK, and then you pick the color, and you've got an eyedropper to pick the color if you need that. You can change that color later. So when you do that, and you know what? I'm going to get rid of the mask that I have so you can see what happens. Well, you add it to your timeline. It's a giant color mat that hides everything. Okay, so now I want to draw a shape around that area. Well, I can't do it because I can't see that area. Temporarily turn that off by going to that track and turn the eyeball off. Make sure it's selected, twirl down opacity, go to your free draw Bezier, click in there, and I'm gonna draw the, the uh, mask in this area here. I'm gonna do this pretty quick. The idea here is the demonstration is talking about this water area and the dispute of where it actually is. So I'm, I'm clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging, drawing paths. I don't want to zoom in, so I'll click and drag a path over here and then I'll move it over there. And then you see that little circle and now it's finished. It's not filled with blue because remember, we turned the layer off. Turn the layer on, get rid of our feather. Now we've got a hard edge. Put a little dissolve on that so it, it dissolves between one layer and another. This is just a, a regular dissolve. And when I play that, boom. Okay, so that's a shape that's just using a simple dissolve. This one was a little bit more complex. Over here, we've got a shape that shows where the water goes through the disputed area. So let me zoom in on this one. So this water is disputed that does it go through the proposed quarry? And yes, it does, because it goes all the way through here, comes out the other end, and then comes all the way down here. And it meets this tributary right here. So how did I show that? Well, first of all, if we look at this, this is a nested sequence and we double click on it, there's the nested sequence. It's the shape already drawn, just like I drew that blue shape over top of this Photoshop file. Now, by the way, when I was uh, working on this project, this is a native shot from my Canon 5D, so I took a vertical shot. Um, so this is pretty darn big. If we look at this over here, it is, 5,760 by 3840 in size. So it's a pretty large image. And if we look at this in Photoshop, so edit original, and you notice it's a native .psd. So this is a Photoshop file. I didn't change it from, uh, its, uh, from what I edited. And I cut the background or the sides of this and just went to black. I could have done that with transparency, but I didn't want to have to deal with adding the transparency or, or adding black to it later. I thought, you know, how many, what, how many times I, am I going to care about this being transparent? Let me make it black on both sides and fit in the aspect ratio of an HD frame and leave it as a big size. That way I can zoom in. So later on, 
uh, in this same animation, I'm zooming into these areas. And because this is almost 6K uh, in width, I've got a lot of room in there. So just like I said, here's the highlight area. And there is the uh, mask. Well, there's actually quite a few masks. So you can see I, I drew this in separate, separate sections and I named them. Each one of them, as I click on them, you see they're highlighted. Uh, I thought I was going to get away with animating this, a mask in the shape. On, anyway, I failed at my first attempt and ended up nesting this. So a nest is just a sequence put in a sequence. And as far as Premiere Pro is concerned, when we go back and look at the nested sequence, Premiere Pro doesn't care what this is. As far as it knows, it's a composited, flattened, red shape over a, 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 an image of the original 3D map. So if we turn off the opacity setting, you'll see there's the same map. So there's the shape going all the way from top to bottom. What I did, turn that back on and turn the mask on, and you see the mask right here, and I've got a few keyframes. So let's go ahead, and what I'm doing is I'm animating that mask. And your first thought is, well, if you're hiding the mask with the top, how, what is this down here? If I turn the top one off, it's a copy of the same map. So the same static map positioned exactly. The one on the bottom doesn't have the red shape. The one on the top has the red shape. So when you mask the top out, it looks like all you're doing is you're showing the red shape more. And we're really, you're showing the whole thing, the shape and the mask. Why did I do it that way? Why didn't I just put the shape on top? Because I have no idea where the shape is. That's why I did the shape in another sequence because now its relationship is based on the mask, uh, sorry, on the map. So the shape and the map are aligned up. Go over here and move the mask. And it looks like the red is being revealed. It's really simple. Let me hit play and you'll see it gets revealed all the way down there. So let's go closer to those keyframes. So again, I drew a mask over this area and then as we started to move ahead you see the mask is animated and it will mask the shape and it looks like the red is running on its own and then the other one on its own the mask keeps going and as I needed a larger mask I just move the mask points larger larger and larger and larger till we met, met that area. Now let me show you the same thing without the mask. I'm gonna hide the mask uh, outline so we can't see that. And let's do the same thing. So look at that. The red is running through that area. And it does, it's a perfect way to indicate what is going on with the water. Right there, going through on both sides. There it is, there it is, down to the bottom. So when I hide the mask, it makes much more sense and you see that. So this is a mask shape being animated by another mask. Again, you need the latest version of Creative Cloud to do this. You could do this with a lot of other shapes and, and uh, um, the track mat effect, but I don't even want to get into that. This is the easiest and most powerful way. You would do this exactly the same in After Effects. I like doing it here because I don't have to render things to see it. And remember, I'm working with a giant 5700 pixel Photoshop file in this with all this zoom ability to go in and zoom in, zoom out. So remember, there's way more sophisticated motion graphics tools built into Premiere Pro if you just think about them in a different way. All right, thanks again to John for uh, requesting this. And if you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. Hey, if you want to take your support up a little bit further, join us on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you and your animated shapes looking great. Mm -hmm.